Although the environment has been threatened by population growth, it is not an inevitable conclusion that the climate will continue to deteriorate. The emphasis should be on developing technologies that put human experiences first while considering environmental effects. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia's, which promotes progress and change, aims to transform city experiences with urban development. Saudi Arabia is developing Neom, an intelligent city distinctive in the desert. The $500 billion project's progress was also seen in recent satellite images. The line's executive director says that work on the world's largest urban project, Neom, is progressing quickly. We'll talk more about this new mega project by Saudi Arabia today. Before we delve into our discussion, please support our YouTube channel. It would mean a lot to us if you could show us your appreciation by liking our content and subscribing. Your engagement fuels our motivation and encourages us to continue delivering valuable videos. So let's make this interaction count. Tap that like button and hit the subscribe option to join our community. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia said, The infrastructure for the line project is well underway. Reputable architects created sections of the initial home's first floor, vertical spaces and layers. The line will be built along a 170-kilometer coastal strip in the nation's northwest, devoid of streets and cars and emitting zero carbon. Excavation has started for the construction of the line in Neom, signaling a significant shift in Saudi Arabia's economy away from oil. The smart city will rely only on clean energy. To coexist with nature, 9 million people will live in interconnected societies run by artificial intelligence. The development will give walkability, priority, clean energy, and technology to address the infrastructure problems and traffic pollution that affect conventional cities. The line also seeks to establish a new way of life. Speaking at the Global AI Summit in Riyadh, Neom CEO Nadmi Al-Nazar affirmed that Neom would fully utilize artificial intelligence, AI technology, and that their current planning phase has been fruitful. Let's explore Neom in more detail. As a business and tourism development along Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coast, Prince Mohammed introduced Neom in 2017. The nation's 2030 vision, which aims to broaden the economy, is a crucial project. The $500 billion project will include intelligent towns, city centers for sports research, sports and entertainment venues, and tourist attractions. The development covers a surface area of 26.5 square kilometer, including zones for industrial and logistical use. It's expected to be finished in 2025 and includes a network of airports, including one in Sharma's northern region called International One Neon Bay Airport. Commenced operations last year and provides frequent flights for Neom employees and investors. Before 2030, Neom's chief urban development officer announced one of the largest airports in the world will be built there. They also plan to build a business and technology hub that could add $48 billion to Saudi gross domestic product and create 380,000 jobs. Construction on the center is expected to begin in the first quarter of this year. Addressing urgent global urban challenges and promoting an innovative lifestyle are the goals of Neom. The city will preserve 95% of the surrounding natural environment to emphasize how closely humans are connected to nature. Besides, we will build a zero CO2 emission ecosystem using only renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydrogen. According to project proponents, desalination-dependent neon will become the dominant force in water production and storage in the region. High-tech and modular systems will entice startups and water-focused research organizations to drive innovation and take the lead in the water industry across all sectors. Neom will be at the forefront of water technology since the Neomi's water distribution network will be connected entirely through advanced infrastructure, resulting in little water loss. As per the CEO of Solar Water, they have developed a cutting-edge desalination method that is totally sustainable and leaves no carbon imprint. Neon is responsible for their shared effort to build a world that coexists with nature. With a focus on walkability, the Line Initiative is an important urban development initiative. Residents may walk just five minutes to visit most daily services such as schools, hospitals, recreation facilities, and parks. Neon will be easier to reach in 20 minutes thanks to high-speed public transportation that connects all communities. Neon's urban environment also encourages walking, bicycling, and using personal electric mobility devices. The lion's facade will reflect nature to blend in. The need to solve urban overpopulation in light of the expanding population will be emphasized by Prince Mohammed at the line's opening in July. Since the line will exclusively run on renewable energy, 
it will be the first city in the world to purely use hydrogen, solar, and wind energy. He estimated that in 2050 commute times will have tripled, and a billion people will have to relocate due to increasing sea levels and carbon emissions. He also points out that 90% of people already inhale polluted air, which prompts the question, why must development come at the expense of nature-caused pollution that kills millions of people every year in wasted time in traffic? Prince Mohammed claims that the line's idea permits vertical layering of city functions and straightforward three-dimensional access. The line promises to be the first vertical city in zero gravity. Drone footage of the project, which will increase travel using renewable electricity in the Ott area, shows that excavators are already digging a trench for the Lion's construction in the desert. The CEO of Neom disclosed plans for a few resort projects, and now those projects are anticipated to open in three years. The project's advancement has not been significantly impacted by COVID-19. The main obstacle is securing more international and domestic partnerships. Urban planning and development are now being done on all projects. After each site plan is finished, more information will be given. This year saw the start of the construction of the line. Accords reached between ACOM and Bechtel have made the creation of sophisticated transport infrastructure a highly complex endeavor. A contract was signed with a Saudi telecom company to provide the 5G network infrastructure underpinning Neom's digital ambitions. The largest green hydrogen and ammonium plant will be built by Neom in the United States in a $5 billion contract with intentions to begin operations in 2026. Aqua Power and Air Products are also partners in the project. Neon will use a solar water stack to create novel water desalination processes that will transform Saudi Arabia's access to clean water. As we can see, the Riyadh-based IT professional was startled to learn about Neon in 2017 and couldn't think that Saudi Arabia would be the first to implement such a project when the Sparty project was being implemented on a considerable scale. In Jeddah, a Saudi wellness specialist described it as the nation's most audacious and ambitious project of the past 10 years, led by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is guiding the country into a contemporary period where humans and the environment can cohabit. Naom's financing would come from an IPO in 2024, according to a statement made by the Crown Prince in July. A total of $319 billion will be required for the first phase of Neon, with half of that amount coming from the Public Investment Fund, the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund. Estimates for the economic zone state that Neon will be able to accommodate 450,000 people by 2026, 1.5 to 2 million by 2030, and 9 million by 2045. What are your thoughts on Saudi Arabia's massive Neon project? Do you anticipate it getting into action with anticipation? This video is coming to an end now. We appreciate you staying to the conclusion of the video. Please let me know in the following comment section. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell on our YouTube videos for more to show up on your homepage. We value your time and look forward to welcoming you again soon for more engrossing films like this.